How do I drive something using a regular I.O. that requires either more power or more voltage or both? And uh, basically what I'm going to teach you is how to use a transistor in the most basic form. There's lots of ways that you can drive more power than you can get off of a microcontroller, but just about all of them at least require you to use one transistor. So. Let me go ahead and first explain the transistor. You have two basic types of transistor. The first type of transistor is an MPN. And this is the schematic symbol for it. That right there is the emitter. Collector. and the mighty and glorious base. Basically what happens here is you need your uh, positive voltage here, negative voltage here, Whoop. negative voltage here, and then you apply your voltage here. So this is a positive to bias it which means turn it on. So basically, for a simple way of explaining it, there is a diode inside here that can be activated through the base, which allows current to th flow through the collector to the emitter. That is the MPN transistor. And then I'm not going to go into it, but here's at least the symbol for the PNP transistor. And so you notice that the arrow here is facing in instead of out and the emitter and collector swap places. The base remains the same, and the configuration for the PMP is different. So, but today we're gonna go over the MPN, so let's forget about that. Just know that there is a different kind that is completely different. So if we wanna actually use the MPN transistor, what we have to do is create a circuit that will safely turn it on and uh, get us an increase in voltage or current. So basically what we have here is first let's do a resistor, take it in, this is our base, this is our I.O. And this is our ground. Right here is our load. So that's whatever you're trying to turn on. In this case, what we're gonna do is turn on an LED. So we replace our load with the circuit for the LED, which is a resistor, and the light emitting diode. And that should be everything needed for your I.O. to turn on an LED. And you're granted, okay, you could probably turn on the uh, LED using your I.O. already. Um, however, what a lot of people don't know is that most microcontroller I.O.s have a fairly low limit to the amount of current that they can drive. So what you would need to do is actually, let's say that you needed more than 20 milliamps, which is pretty much the standard maximum draw from an I.O. pin. 
then you're gonna have to put it through a transistor to get more current flow without damaging your microcontroller. So let's go ahead and put this into action.